Hello friends, welcome back to industry learning and uh, today in this session basically I am going to discuss about the shearing force calculation. So before moving forward, first of all let us see the topics that we are going to cover under uh, this session. So, so we are going to see the determination of shearing force and uh, after then we will see the concept of shearing action uh, because until we don't know the concept how does the shearing occurs we will not be able to understand clearly about uh, force disposition. So what is force disposition that we are going to see and that is basically divided in two types like horizontal force and vertical force and uh, further if I talk about the calculation then we are going to see the calculations with example and uh, uh, all about these topics will be covered in this session and uh, in coming session we will see about the bending forming and drawing force calculation so just let's start with uh, the first one that is determination of shearing force so first of all we are going to see the determination of shearing force and uh, here we have taken one simple example and uh, this is a sheet and the blank has been developed and uh, uh, using steering operations and this is the blank you can see so uh, before going for the calculation of forces and all we will we have to see the steering actions exactly how does uh, the steering uh, operations uh, uh, happens so that we can calculate the force uh, easily so if we talk about the steering action then uh, here you should know that uh, basically uh, this one uh, this case that has been drawn basically for the example we have taken and uh, this is punch die and this is our seat and uh, when we apply a force uh, in this uh, direction vertical direction then you can see some uh, deformation start to be happen at uh, the corner and uh, when we apply the force continue then 0.40 means 40 percent of the seat thickness will get cut and after then this will get break simply so this is the concept of shearing means uh, the complete 100% uh, are not going to be cut by punch you should know this is very important and uh, once uh, we increase the force then you can see the blank will simply get out from the parent seat this is our blank uh, that is seared piece and uh, this is parent seat after then if this operations happens then again you can see that till this like this is 40% that is that has been cut out and remaining will get break that is 60 percent of the thickness t 40 percent of the t is thickness so now uh, this is all about the shearing uh, actions and uh, now we can talk about the force disposition so uh, what exactly is the force disposition so you can see uh, we are going to apply a force in vertical direction but the these are going to be cut in like this uh, in some angle so what does this means uh, when we are going to apply the force in vertical direction then uh, this stretchness will apply a force in horizontal direction so the resultant will be like in this direction this is a, a vertical force this is a, a horizontal force so the, so the resultant will be in some this direction you should know some sort of basic force uh, calculation or some idea of uh, uh, vertical and horizontal force and so the effect of that uh, used to cut this in this direction basically so if I draw some sort of uh, sketch for force disposition then you can see that if this is a vertical force and this is a horizontal force then we will have a real tend in this direction so uh, we will see the procedure or method for calculating both the force but uh, this vertical force uh, are beneficial for us because based upon that only we can select the press uh, capacity at how much tons of press how much tonnage of press uh, we have to select so let us see that uh, how does we calculate a vertical force so basically vertical force uh, is directly uh, dependent on the cut length that is periphery of the profile that we are going to cut and uh, sheet thickness as well as sh shear strength of the material that has to be cut so entirely if we say about vertical force then that is uh, cut length into sheet thickness into shear strength of the material so suppose we have to 
apply a force that is v in this direction then v is equal to uh, simply we should remember c into t into fs and uh, if we have given that c means cut length this one the whole periphery then next t that is thickness of this sheet that has to be cut this is t and the third one that is fs means uh, shear strength of the material sheet so we will calculate based upon all these things so you will have a question arises that how does this fs shear strength uh, we will find out so basically we have a table that we will see in next slide uh, how to find this uh, value of fs so we will take one example and uh, based upon that we will calculate all this so we are going to take uh, one example here and uh, for that we have taken one sheet uh, of uh, mesh material and uh, thickness is 3 mm and uh, the blank size that is for 35 mm dia so basically for this we will calculate how much uh, the force vertical force actually we require so uh, here if we write uh, the formula that is uh, vertical force that is either vf is equal to c that is cutting length into t that is thickness into f s that is shear strength so basically uh, for this if i talk about c then uh, c is nothing but the periphery of the circle in case of square uh, we will have that periphery of a square and like that whatever the profile is there that is the periphery uh, means complete cutting length uh, is uh, this c so for that uh, here we have to uh, calculate that c first and for that uh, uh, we have given the dia so the periphery of a circle is c is equal to pi into d so here 22 by 7 into 35 that is uh, 7 uh, 110 mm and uh, value of t is already given that is uh, 3 mm and uh, if i talk about shear strength then that we used to calculate or we used to uh, find out from a table that uh, table i will show you so uh, we will uh, find out the value of uh, shear strength from the table and that is uh, here like uh, this is our material structural still that is uh, uh, like it might be ms or c35 c40 st uh, 50 st58 whatever and uh, in this uh, column we have the value of shear uh, strength that is newton uh, per mm square and uh, for uh, this steel grade we can see that uh, value of uh, shear strength that is 400 and for uh, electrical stamping uh, steel sheet that is 530 for aluminium sheet this is 280 for uh, brass hard rolled for, this is uh, two, uh, 310 for copper rolled it is 230 for magnesium it is 160 for nickel it is 400 and for silicon bronze this is 480 so all these uh, are the value of shear strength for corresponding uh, material sheet so we are going to use only for this column right now for tensile uh, and uh, other yield strength uh, we are going to see for other formula and all next sessions and onwards so uh, let's go back to previous uh, uh, slide and here uh, like we have seen uh, we have already calculated value of uh, c that is cutting length so now uh, if you would like to calculate the vertical force that is vf is equal to c means 110 into uh, thickness t that is 3 mm and uh, uh, that is value of fs that already we saw uh, 400 again we can see here this is 400 right let's go back and uh, apply here 400 now the value that will be here that is 1 3 2 triple 0 newton so uh, if you convert this in kgf we will divide 10 for converting into kg and uh, again we will divide with 1000 for ton so basically two times uh, we will divide and that will be uh, 13.2 ton 
okay so how we uh, divide it so here i will make the calculation bracket suppose uh, 132000 newton if we divide by 10 then this become uh, kgf and further we divide with uh, 1000 then this kgf converted into tons so finally we can see that we have divided by 10000 so this is 13.2 something this is what how we calculated the value so based upon this like we can uh, select the press where we can uh, use this press tool so basically uh, we take 33% uh, uh, extra uh, force and then calculated and that is why like uh, our dye and all are getting uh, blunt so at that time the forces uh, shear forces increases that is maximum uh, then the forces that got increased at least 30 percent more so for that purpose we increase this and uh, but our main agenda is to how to calculate the vertical forces and that is how we have calculated so uh, we are going to see one other, another example and uh, in that like we will have a aluminium sheet with uh, thickness of 4 mm and the size is 40 by 40 so you can see this is our uh, sheet and using a blanking tool we have developed one blank uh, so for that like suppose we have to calculate if we are at initial uh, design stage and uh, if you want to calculate the force how much is required for this so uh, basically for that like uh, we will write the formula that is uh, vertical force vf is equal to cutting length that is c into seed thickness t into shear strength that is f s so as usual we have to calculate the value of c first so c is equal to of like uh, the this uh, perimeter so for that uh, size 4 into 40 that is uh, 160 mm and uh, if you talk about seed thickness that is already given here 4 mm and uh, if you talk about uh, this fs so we can calculate this from the table that is uh, for aluminium we can see this is 280 so we can take it uh, fs is equal to 280 newton per mm square and uh, finally we can calculate uh, vertical force vf is equal to uh, 160 into 4 that is sheet thickness into 280 that is uh, shear strength so this much newton is equal to 1792000 newton so, so divided by 10 divided by 1000 so it will be 17.9 uh, ton so based upon this we can have a press selection so if you talk about the uh, perimeter or periphery uh, that is a uh, cutting length so we have different method for different object like for uh, uh, circular object we can have uh, cutting length is equal to pi into diameter for suppose this is a square like then uh, c or cutting length is equal to side into 4 if we have uh, uh, like a rectangle then for cutting length is equal to 2 into length plus width and in case of triangle if we have uh, all the three sides then cutting length is equal to side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3 and other than this if we have any complex uh, profile then by means of uh, other geometrical calculations or using the CAD software like we can calculate the complete uh, cutting length how this is so this is the uh, way like how we can find the cutting length and further we can or calculate the uh, force that is vertical force Now if you talk about horizontal force then that is HF is equal to uh, vertical force VF into clearance CL percent clearance in percent. So uh, suppose we are uh, going to find the horizontal force for the same example of this uh, aluminium sheet then as already we have calculated the vertical force and uh, suppose here the clearance uh, uh, CL, CL is given like 5% per side then this we can use for 
calculating the horizontal force and uh, for that like uh, horizontal force is equal to vf that is 17.9 uh, into cl that is 5% and that is it is 0 0.89 tons like that it is so we can see that calcul uh, calculation of uh, horizontal force is as simple as once we calculated the vertical force just we can uh, multiply this using the clearance so friends we uh, saw basically uh, everything uh, what we did in earlier session so now like we have seen shearing action force disposition that is for how to calculate vertical force how to calculate horizontal force this all things and all we saw and now uh, in next session onwards like uh, uh, we will see uh, that uh, special type of forces that is for bending, forming, drawing and uh, or all those this is not a common formula or not a common method that is uh, some sort of uh, individual and in some sort of uh, different uh, uh, methods will be there so anyway we are going to see all that in coming sessions so that's all for today and if you like this session or this video then don't forget to hit like button as well as don't forget to subscribe too that's all thank you